Hey guys, uh, so in the last few videos we have uh, seen that uh, how we're building this uh, app which uh, is like a clone of Medium and uh, we've created the uh, nav drawer. Uh, so like if you take a look at the app in the current state right now, we have got uh, the title bar going for us and we have got the nav drawer and we have like the home sign in and sign up and all of these pages up here. So uh, what we uh, need to do now is, uh, you know, uh start creating the fragments uh inside which we're gonna show the stuff that's uh gonna come up on these uh pages uh, right now here so what we'll do is uh, we'll create uh fragments for the various pages that exists inside the website so there's a home page inside the home page there's a global feed and there's a your feed uh there's a new article page uh, there is a settings page if you go to any article then uh, you know we can uh, read the article there's uh, this kind of a page here and uh, there is a profile page for every user okay so we're gonna start building these pages so if you look at the front end starter kit we get a rough idea we need to create a, a home page a uh, login register kind of pages we need uh, profile uh, we need settings we need uh, create an edit article and we need a view article uh, fragment so um, let's uh, let's uh, get on with that um, so let's start creating fragments so I'm gonna create a new package inside this uh, new uh, package called uh, fragments and we're gonna create a new fragment so I'm gonna go with the fragment you know uh, fragment with the we can create a fragment with a view model so if you create a fragment with a view model then uh, you know uh, we can connect some data into that view model uh, later on so view model is uh, uh, if you take a look at uh, view model in android it's a uh, observable data structure uh, which uh, is part of uh, android x which is part of jetpack it uh, allows us uh, to create app in a structure called mvvm which is called model view view model and in the mvvm model uh, if you change any data inside your uh, view model then the uh, fragment automatically updates itself so uh, i'm gonna go and uh, create a new fragment with a uh, view model uh, which uh, i'm gonna call is uh, of course first of all the home fragment uh, so the name of the fragment layout I will call uh, fragment underscore home. Um, then uh, it will be have a view model. Uh, home view model is I think fine. Uh, uh, we have a uh, source language for Kotlin for that. I'm gonna go ahead with that and uh, finish. Oh, it's uh, taking a bit of time to generate uh, so we'll have uh, of course our things that get generated here is uh, you'll see you get a home fragment.kt file you'll see that there is a home view model.kt file which uh, contains nothing for now and uh, there is a fragment uh, home.xml which is the layout of the fragment that's it's gonna look like okay um, Let's uh, just build all the fragments uh, quickly and then uh, we're gonna get on with the stuff. So we need a, a home fragment. Uh, so what we'll do is we will put the view models in a separate place. Uh, or uh, I can do with fragments and I'm gonna like uh, put the view model here, create a home, um, package called home. Uh, put these two uh, down here uh, Just a second let me create uh, like a package called uh, login or a package called auth and uh, Take these put into home uh, Okay inside auth will create a login fragment uh, Fragment with uh, view model uh, we'll call it uh, I know login fragment fragment underscore uh, login uh, we have a login view model uh, kotlin just finish that okay um we should have a uh, register fragment as well sign up fragment uh, register fragment uh, so I don't know why this naming convention is like the other way around, but I think should name is fragment underscore register because it's easier to find your layouts if they are prefixed with the type. 
Um, okay, so okay, let's quickly go through the other stuff that we need. We need a um, profile page, a settings page. Uh, so we'll go um, user uh, new uh, profile settings, profile and settings. Okay, so fragment uh, with view model profile fragment uh, okay fragment go okay and we need a um, settings fragment right so Okay, next uh, we need a article. We need an article create an article view fragment. So we need uh, like, you know, fragment, uh, fragment with the view model will create a article fragment. Oh, sorry. Uh, I'll just uh, create a package called articles. new fragment uh, fragment view model article or oh, i think art read article uh, fragment read article uh, view model and uh, I think I will call it an article view model only um, finish we'll have uh, a fragment for um, edit article mm. Call it article view model. So create a uh, empty fragment uh, now because uh, what I'll do is uh, so there's this uh, article view model and I intend to use uh, this uh, reuse the same view model inside my edit article and my uh, create article pages. Okay so i don't uh, want to like create a separate view model for that so the read article page uses uh, the article view model uh, here okay um, so what we'll do is we'll create a new empty fragment blank fragment edit article fragment create a layout xml i'll remove the fragment factory uh, methods and the interface callback okay finish okay what we'll do is we'll just remove this uh, stupid code here these arguments and stuff and i uh, will take uh, the article view more uh, the read article fragment and we we'll just uh, copy the code here except of course uh, we will need to change the layout layout should be fragment uh, edit article okay so let's see fragment editor um okay in fact we need to do something same with the user what will happen is that a profile view model and a uh, settings view model are not uh, basically different so basically when i go to the uh, settings page uh, if on my app if i go to the settings page i see my url my bio and the short bio about me password and all so the settings page is also using the um user uh, view model right so you'll just uh, change both of profile view and settings view model into a user view model okay so let's uh, think of doing this uh, somewhat like this uh, Take the profile view model and uh, change it to 
um, so I'm using refactor uh, basically do right click refactor rename right uh, calling it user view model uh, refactoring it into um, so search and comments and strings rename variables uh, such as rename inheritors uh, just rename everything refactor okay that's refactored uh, the profile fragment it now uses something called user view model because i've refactored that now inside uh, uh, settings uh, fragment what i'm going to do is uh, instead of using the settings view model i'll just uh, first of all remove settings uh, i'll use user view model okay and i'm going to use user view model class to java okay so now i can remove the settings view model right um so we got all the uh, required uh, fragments in place what i need to do is inside main activity um uh, when uh, i create a function called um, fun uh, or I think I can just uh, do it here is uh, when uh, a particular item is uh, selected from the uh, navigation uh, item selected so the navigation items are here rest menu activity main drawer it has got uh, menu item home menu item sign in menu item sign up menu um, let's give this menu item new article menu item settings so uh, We'll create cases for all of these and um, what I'm going to do is um, so if menu item home is uh, called I'm gonna call for uh, the home fragment dot uh, new instance that's what I'm going to return okay uh, if it's r dot id dot menu item uh, new article uh, I'm gonna do So it's um, article article fragment dot new instance, um, and uh, this returns uh, something. So what I'm going to do is uh, do uh, support uh, fragment manager dot uh, begin transaction. Um, and what I'm gonna do is begin a transaction then uh, do is dot uh, replace with uh, so I'm gonna f add the fragment that I get from here uh, into uh, the support fragment manager so to do that uh, what I need to do is inside replace I need to pass the name of the the ID of the container into which I want to set things so the ID of the container is uh, basically inside my layout inside content main um, it's this constraint uh, layout which has this text view so what I'm gonna do is I will uh, remove this text view from here and I will uh, turn this constraint layout into a frame layout okay I'll change this uh, ID I'll give it an ID so ID uh, I get frame layout uh, main container so now I'm gonna do is replace r dot ID dot uh, frame layout main container with the fragment okay so let's do something is take this and do width uh, and uh, put this here and create a function so or uh, I can do is do when and then I can do dot uh, let which gives me of course uh, So I'll add a default case by default it will go into home fragment okay so inside let uh, basically it is uh, the it variable 
is basically the fragment that I returned. So the when statement in Kotlin actually returns uh, whatever is written here. So if uh, item dot item id is r dot id dot menu item home, then this is what is returned to me. So we put it inside lead block and we do support fragment manager dot begin transaction replace this with it and uh, dot uh, of course i need to do a commit to actually replace the fragment into my screen um at this stage i think if i run this app at least for item home and item new article we should get these two fragments starting up how do i know which article has started what i do is go to fragment uh, home and uh, change the text view to hello um let's see. give it a gravity of center hello home fragment okay and we use the edit article one and do like something else we do um, hello edit article fragment okay uh, give it a layout gravity of center again um, so that stuff okay so uh, we got like we changed the text inside the two fragments they look like this now uh, hello uh, home fragment and stuff like that okay uh, and we should just wrap content around the text uh, so it looks like this uh, the home article of course uh, also looks like this the home fragment is the uh, edit article fragment okay so which one is open i would be able to see that very easily um, um uh, okay now inside main activity when a uh, navigation item is selected i return uh, the corresponding uh, fragment and i commit it into my uh, fragment manager um let's run this app and see if that works out for us or not So by default, if I click on home, see it opens up the home fragment for me. And if I click on uh, new article, uh, oh, it does not open the new article fragment. I don't know, something happened. Sign in, uh, edit article fragment dot new instance, edit article fragment. Uh, oh, this needs to return a edit article fragment. Okay, I'm sorry. Uh, I, when I copied the code, my mistake, I, I just uh, did not check if it's an article fragment or not. Okay. Um, okay. All the instances are changed. Let's just flush it onto our app once again. And there we go. So now if I open a uh, new article, I get the new article fragment. And if I open uh, the home page, I get the home fragment. So what I'll do is I will uh, do the same thing for the rest of the fragments. I will just add that into this when clause for all the other fragments that exist. And when my app is open for the first time, I will uh, call the support fragment manager and uh, commit the home fragment into it. Uh, so when my app is created, uh, we're gonna get uh, a new instance of home fragment dot uh, new instance built up here okay so by default we'll have the home fragment uh, loaded onto our screen uh, initially uh, right initially show the uh, home fragment okay um, we don't need this uh, fab I think we don't need this fab we will see if we need the fab uh, what I'll do is remove the fab from here for now. Remove the fab here. Uh, remove it from the layout for the app. Uh, it's I think in activity main. It has uh, no. It's a content main uh, app bar main. So it's the floating action button. Let me just uh, remove that stuff. I don't need that happening out here. Let's flash it once again. Okay, there we go got this uh, a new article so opens up uh, no more uh, you know no more fab at the bottom right of the screen uh, so let's uh, go and change all the rest of the fragments and then move on to actually getting the data from the api okay